गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स वी सी ए वेराइटी ऑफ ऑब्जेक्ट इन द वर्ल्ड अराउंड अस हाउ आर वी आर अनेबल टू सी एनी थिंग इन अ डार्क रूम बट ऑन लाइटनिंग ऑफ द रूम थिंग्स आर विजिबल वट मेक्स थिंग्स विजिबल एज यू नो दैट इट इज अ लाइट You all learned in previous classes that light seems to travel in straight line, and it is also a source of energy. Now, today, we will study about the phenomena of reflection of the light using the straight line propagation of light. In the next verse, uh, will be topic law of reflection, and the next one will be. properties of image formed by plane mirror now let us study about the reflection what is reflection as you already taught in class in previous classes that reflection is the phenomena that takes place when bouncing back of light after striking on a smooth and polished polished surface reflection is the phenomena that takes place when bouncing back of light after striking on a smooth and polished surface for example it is a st smooth straight surface and this one is polished surface we call it a smooth and polished surface when a ray of light striking incline on a smooth polished surface it get bounce back in the same medium after striking the ray that get striking on the smooth surface is known as incident ray and that get bounce back known as reflected ray we draw a perpendicular on the smooth and polished surface at that point where incident ray strike we call it fit normal normal the angle between incident ray and the normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle between normal and reflected ray is known as angle of refraction and the point where 
incident ray strike and the reflected ray get bounced back and the normal get attached this point is known as point of incidence now the next one is laws of reflection there are two laws of reflection the number one is the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection the angle of incidence is always equal to angle of reflection so if the angle of incidence is 30 degree therefore the angle of reflection also get 30 degree second law is the incident ray reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lies in the same plane again the incident ray the reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lies in the same plane this is the second law of reflection the next one is the properties of properties of image formed by plane mirror this is the plane mirror polished plane mirror suppose there is an object O object. If we see the image of this object in the plane mirror, we get an image of the object. This is the 
image. If we see that if the object is virtual is is erect, then the image will be virtual and erect. Number second, it is the property of image by the plane mirror that if we see the object in it, we get the image laterally, laterally inverted means if we see our right hand in the plane mirror we get the image of it as a left hand if we write down the b and see it in the plane mirror we get it image as like this it is known as literally inverted the dis number third one is the distance between the object and the mirror is as equal to the distance between the mirror and the image. If we can say that if the distance between object and mirror is 2 meter is the 2 meter then the image distance from the mirror will also be 2 meter we can say the distance between object and the mirror will be 4 meter and the next one is the size the size of the object the size of the object is same as the size of the image there will be same the size of the object and the size of the image will be the same these are the four properties of image formed by plane mirror number third one is the distance between the object and the mirror will be the same as the distance between the image and the mirror and the fourth one is size of object and size of image will be same. Again, we get recapitulate the topic phenomena that takes place when bouncing back of light after striking on a smooth and polished surface takes place known as reflection. The incident rate that can incline at the smooth and polished surface, it can bounce back 
in the same medium after striking on the surface the the light that get incident is known as incident ray and that get reflect bounce back known as reflected ray we draw perpendicular on as a normal in uh, at the point where the light get incident known as normal and the point where these three normal incident and the reflected ray get meet to each other known as point of incidence the angle between incident ray and normal is known as angle of incidence and the angle between normal and reflected ray known as angle of reflection the laws of reflection there are two laws the first one is the angle of incidence is always equal to the angle of reflection number 2 incident ray reflected ray and the normal at the point of incidence all lies in the same plane the next properties of image formed by plane mirror the first one is the image is always virtual and erect the image number 2 the image will be laterally inverted laterally inverted number 3 the distance between the object and the mirror will be the same as the distance between the mirror and the image and the fourth one is the size of object and the size of image will be the same thank you